Hello Aries, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to be doing a reading for you today. Um, it's going to be something that you don't expect, but it would benefit you to expect it. Let's see what energies are coming out for you. What messages are coming out for you. Um, and yeah, whatever you're needing to know for your highest good. Alright, Aries. What do we have for Aries? What's going on for them that they don't expect? But their awareness of it would benefit them. Alright, we have the world card coming out. Ooh, interesting. And the five of wands. Damn, okay. I'm hearing that there's a shift in a cycle or there's a shift in um, a shift in favor or um, some sort of uh, manipulation in the environment is getting exposed, okay? The truth about it is coming out. You're learning the truth about some sort of manipulation or pettiness that's been going on in the background here. I'm hearing it could have been going on for a while, okay, uh, with the world card. This is a cycle. I'm hearing it's a group, okay, that's not for all of you. Um, yeah, so some of you might be dealing with some bully energy or some manipulative energy in the environment, okay, but, it's, but a light is being shown on this or the truth is coming out about this with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, something you didn't see before or things that you didn't see are getting exposed. And we have judgment here. Some of you, there's someone who's telling on themselves. That's what I'm hearing. Or someone's karma is speaking for itself. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, we have the three of swords on the bottom. Sagittarius energy, by the way. Nine of Pentacles. I'm hearing you're being set free. Wow, the High Priestess. <laughs> you're some sort of clarity is setting you free. This is what I'm getting. Um, about. Okay, I'm hearing. Okay, I don't. I'm hearing fuck shit in the environment. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, specifically. <laughs> um. Yes, yeah, some pettiness, some uh, negative, low vibrational, malicious, manipulative energy. Hearing again, petty in the environment that was going on behind the scenes, or it's been a reoccurring thing with the world here. Yeah, I'm hearing Sword of Truth, okay, with the Ace of Swords here. Do you want to show me more about what's getting exposed for Aries? Clarity that's coming to Aries, or what other information do we have to share with them about this? I'm hearing again, you're being set free. Okay, something, you're being set free from some sort of hold, energy hold, or manipulation, or, um, I'm hearing setback, okay? There even could have been certain lies that were being told about you, and this is getting exposed, okay? Or the truth of the matter is what I'm hearing, is getting exposed. I'm hearing again, someone's exposing themselves. So, okay, yeah, I'm hearing something about um, something about scales tipping here, like with um, judgment energy, uh, not judgment energy, um, justice energy. I'm getting that there's some there was some sort of um, there was something that was way out of balance. Okay, and again, I'm hearing again this is reoccurring with the world here, keeping brought back to that. Um, there's something about the X. Okay, so an X on something. Um, I've never noticed this in the Ace of Swords. But, like, I'm getting something about, like, I don't know, something is tipping the scales, because, look, these, um, these, uh, 
the greenery is different on each side. I never noticed that. I'm getting that one of them looks like shriveled. I don't know if like, it's like they're just different types of plants, but it, to me it's looking to me like one of them is shriveled and then one of them is like flourishing here. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Um, I'm hearing holly. Okay. Okay, there's something also about, um, it could be specific birds or specifically peacocks, okay. Um, also something about the mountains, okay. No more random messages, let's get some more <laughs> cards out here. What else do we have for Aries? What else can we share about this with Aries? What's getting exposed? What else is going on here? Okay, Queen of Cups, very true nature. We have temperance. More Sagittarius energy. <laughs> yeah. Damn, okay, so there's some sort of cycle that you're recognizing, or there's a shift that you're physically recognizing, okay? A shift in cycle, or you're, rec you're pinpointing a specific cycle, okay? That's what I'm getting here with the Two of Wands. Yeah, I'm hearing it's been a long time coming. There's something that's been repetitive. There's been a repeated cycle here that's ring is getting squashed, okay? But it's being recognized and that could be part of the reason why some sort of energy is stopped and then now you're in this very um, forward moving energy is what I'm hearing. Okay, there could be, you could be going into like a focus on spirituality or psychic abilities specifically. I'm hearing, okay, yeah, I'm hearing something about you guys aligning with a specific timeline. Um, it's like you're getting ready to be a boss or you're getting ready to be a leader. This is what I'm getting. You're being set up to be a leader, okay? So this is either like, this could be very literal, like in your in your job, like you're you're being trained for this new position, right? Or it could be very, you know, energetic, spiritual, like you're, you're working with your spirit team being very heavily guided towards expanding on specific abilities um, or um, being in this boss leader energy. I'm hearing you're just getting started, okay? Some of you have some really important Sagittarius placements. Okay, or... I'm being, my attention is being brought to Jupiter as well. I'm hearing again, trained to be a boss, okay? You're being trained to be in a leader position, okay? I'm hearing a spiritual guide, okay? So that, yeah, some of you might be working in a field of spirituality or you're being guided by spirit here to be in a high up position. Something's going to be in your past now. This energy is going to be in your past. It's like it's like it's something gets recognized and then it disappears. Like the problem disappears, the cycle disappears. It's like it's like something clicks or someone exposes themselves, I'm hearing again. Or I don't know, the snake in the grass is identified, that's what I'm hearing. The energy that was holding you back, the cycle that was holding you back has been identified. And exposed to you or this is this is I'm hearing it's ongoing but this is in the process of okay especially if you are in this cycle here with this petty manipulative energy okay uh, competitive argumentative is what I'm hearing freeing yourself from this okay you're being freed from it you're being you're being 
released from a cycle, okay, but it's your own doing, okay, but it's, I'm hearing again, it's a long time coming. Um, someone, there could have been people lying about you for a long time, okay, there could have been people who were really forcing a narrative, this is what I'm hearing. Your true nature is getting exposed for what it is, so you tell me, is that bad or good, you know, I'm assuming good. <laughs> Um, it's, it, this is like the energy of like, you have to leave your hometown and move away because you're, you're needed somewhere else. Your energy, your talent, your position is needed somewhere else. You're needed somewhere else. So your this stuff is going in, this is going to be in your past. Okay. So I don't know if there's like physical separation from these people or there's, there's finally a, uh, an energetic severance is what I'm hearing. Severance. So, so there could be something about severance package. Okay, um, some of you, you were, uh, um, a job was trying to bully you into staying, okay? On to bigger and better things is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing there's a disappointment in certain people that some of you might be experiencing because they're exposing themselves as the enemy. This is what I'm hearing. And you're looking pa back on this cycle, like these people in your past and you're disappointed about the actions or the betrayal or you're disappointed by the energy that these people are deciding to keep themselves in and so you kind of have to leave them behind this is the energy that I'm getting it's like you know it's unfortunate I wish you know I wish you guys could have been you know with me on this this is what I'm hearing or I wish you guys could grow from this energy this is what I'm hearing okay um, but you have to move on from these people This could, I'm hearing it's a long time coming. So this could have been something, again, that you were debating quite a bit. Ba yeah, back and forth. Because you just weren't sure. You didn't have some sort of clarity. You didn't have some sort of, I'm hearing the other shoe didn't drop. And that came out in another reading recently, um, I think. But, I don't know, something, some sort of information hadn't been exposed. Something wasn't, something wasn't proven yet or something wasn't clear yet, Okay. But there was, there was an intuition, there was a feeling, okay? There was a feeling that some sort of energy was going on or that, I don't know, there's something that you just couldn't deny with either a group, a person, um, a, a workplace, family members. Uh, hearing again, it's unfortunate. I'm hearing consciously moving on. Nice. There could be something with Saturn. Um, there could be something with Saturn in your birth chart. Or there could be something with Saturn in like the transits. All right. Anything else? Any final words for Aries here? Yeah, literally. Literally. <laughs> moving on, moving forward. Some of you are actually moving. Making the conscious decision to get, I'm hearing again, get out of fuck shit. This is what I'm hearing. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't use that, I don't use that phrase like in my everyday life even. So I don't, that's something specific for someone. Um, you're actively and consciously removing yourself from toxic energy, karmic behavior, that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing again competitiveness. I'm hearing lack of loyalty. I'm hearing they have to quit. Okay, I don't know what that's about. All right. Thank you, Aries. Thank you for being here. If it resonated, I hope it provided you with guidance and clarity on your situation. So much love to you as you move through it. Um, yeah, thank you again. Bye.